Most people in America have a sense of pride. They have a sense of pride of how they do things. They have a sense of pride of what they do in their performance, right? I mean, they're supposed to. And they also have a false pride. There's a difference between true, humble pride and false pride. False pride says, I expect other people to perform for me the way I expect them to. Humble pride says, I cannot do that for me because it seems false to me. Do you understand the difference? Some people kind of give me a hard time that I will not go up to a total stranger in a parking lot and ask for some cash. I feel that is a total invasion of a person's privacy. Other people say, well, aren't you soliciting when you contact an organization? The answer is no. I'm selling my ministry. And if you wish to call it solicitation, then that is traditionally and truthfully the history of sales. So there is nothing immoral about that. The difference is how we go about the process. You see, if I am talking to someone, they have the right to do the power of one. The power of one is I am noticing you there, humble stranger, humble person in struggle, person who's living in the streets, and I'm listening to my God to decide whether or not I'm going to help you or not. The power of one is often abused by people because they prefer the power of saying no just like a child who's learning the words yes and no and they just want to say no all the time versus the power of saying yes so while you're deciding while you're discerning while you're analyzing and you're not giving over one dollar to a person like me who is humble and not proud what it means is you prefer that I be starving than eating from the dollar tree now it's pretty marvelous that a man like me can fill himself on a dollar because generally speaking, I buy and I plan my use of my money to last a little bit over time. The sadness that you might feel for me is that every evening when I lay down, I wake up and I find some of my food is gone. Or some of the powders that I put in water to allow me a little bit of electrolytes and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of caffeine stolen from me. And I'm curious, what gives any person and what I would call any monster of a community the right to steal from a homeless man in front of God.